The curtain has dropped on a cutting-edge spaceship that could be the first U.S. vehicle to ferry astronauts into orbit since the retirement of the space shuttle. I'm standing in the middle of the next generation manned spacecraft for the U.S. It's designed to transport seven astronauts, which you can see will sit behind me here on their trip to the International Space Station. It's called the Dragon Version 2 and built by SpaceX, a company that has already proven itself transporting cargo to the International Space Station. The craft can carry seven passengers, comes equipped with massive touchscreens, and can touch down anywhere. You'll be able to land anywhere on Earth with the accuracy of a helicopter. The company is competing for a NASA contract to be awarded this summer. To ignite support, SpaceX threw a splashy coming out party, more commonly seen at the unveiling of a new car or smartphone. If the company succeeds, astronauts could ride the capsule to the space station within just two years. And we'd initially do it without people at the end of next year. Um, and then the first flight uh, with people uh, in, in 2016. This comes as frigid relations with Russia jeopardize American astronauts' access to the space station, currently only reachable by Russian rockets. Um, it's not merely the fact that Russia is, is taunting the United States uh, for, for lack of uh, manned access to space, but they're also um, massively overcharging. Um, and I think it's, it's gone even above $70 million, I think it's sort of $76 million a seat that the Russians are, are, are charging. Um, the, the, the quote that we've provided, uh, NASA, uh, would allow the, the cost for astronauts to be potentially less than $20 million. An important component of keeping costs low, reusability. I mean, what really matters in terms of the, the reusable elements of a, of a vehicle uh, is, is that it has to be rapid and complete. Uh, so we, we want this to be able to fly the same day, so we should be able to arrive and depart the same day. But after a certain number of flights, the capsule will need a new heat shield. This, this can take more heat than any other material that anyone knows about. Just like a, a brake pad on a car, eventually it does need to be replaced, but I think that, that um, we can eventually get up to the, you know, maybe a hundred flights or something like that. For SpaceX founder and CEO Elon Musk, the goal is more ambitious. He talks about America eventually colonizing Mars. We're trying to make space accessible to, to everyone. Uh, we, want to, we want it to be such that if you want to go to, to orbit or beyond, um, that you can do so. Um, we, want to, we want to open up space for humanity. And in order to do that, space must be affordable. The outcome will not be known for many years. But the announcement sets the stage for what could be a golden age of commercial space exploration.